Michelin, a better way forward. I could have never imagined how much it was going to mean to me. People warned me about it, you know, Ari, you must be careful, you know, it's so many uh, traps waiting for you and uh, it's very unpredictable, which is very true. When I went to Dakar, you must remember that it was my comeback event after my nearly fatal accident a year and a half earlier in, in Argentina. So for me, it was first of all when I, was, when I stood at the, uh, at the, at the start line uh, of Dakar in, in 87 in, in January, I had to really pinch myself, am I here? Am I still alive? Am I back in this sport I love, which is my life? And I wanted to show to people that, uh, that I have learned something, that I can be wise and matured. And I drove slow, slowly on the prologue that my teammate Seca Mehta overtook me in that uh, little uh, prologue because I really drove like a grandma. The victory was uh, a bonus okay, because the real victory was that I was back in life. My life had restarted after my uh, very nearly fatal accident. Uh, and after the accident, I was in a psychosis. I had all kinds of uh, terrible fears. I mean, I, I saw no light in my life at all. I just saw black tunnel, not even the, the ray of light. So when I finally arrived to f famous La Crosse and uh, Rita was waiting, my wife was waiting for me there, I mean, it was unreal. It, it was. Unreal, the, the, the happiness and bearing in mind that I come from the, literally from the Black Valley of Death and, and there I was in the, in the sunshine in La Crosse, having one Dakar, I mean, I mean, uh, I don't know, there are, no, there are no words to describe how happy I was.